What's up guys, Pars Revenge here. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda combine two videos into one here. The first half of this vid is gonna be um, part five of my DJ Hero Controller Not Working series. And the second half is gonna be explaining the last project I was working on, which I completed the DJ Hero Expert Charts. And then what I'm gonna be doing from here on out. So if you just wanted to see the DJ Hero Controller not working thing, you can just watch the first half of this bit and then go watch something else if you want. Or if you want to watch the whole thing, that'd be really cool too. Alright, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do is show you a couple example clips. When I was making the DJ Hero Expert charts of all the songs, a lot of problems started appearing on my controller again. During gameplay, this is the one thing I didn't want to happen. I didn't mind if it was fucking up, you know, before I actually got the song started and everything. This actually started to affect me during the game and ruined a lot of potential FCs I could have had. So I'm going to show you a couple of example clips of that, and then I'm going to explain what happened around Christmas time with my other DJ Hero controller not working vids and the the reasoning behind all this vids that I've been making. So here we go. <laughs> First clip in Jayu Big Beat was <clears throat> a crossfader faulty um, screw up. So now, basically, I had the crossfader right on center, and it didn't. I did. I don't even think I had my hand on it, to be honest with you. And basically, what it did was move by itself. Not actually like this, but in the game, it registered it moving by itself, like a quick little flick to the left. And that obviously screwed up my combo. And in the other one, 
the Born to Roll Mr. Big Stuff clip. Um, pressing the green. I clearly hit that one on time, but it didn't register. And after I missed that, I actually had my hand still on the green button afterwards because I was so mad. And then you could see it actually picked up after like two to three seconds. So another faulty error. I checked the batteries and it wasn't the batteries because it's still been happening. So these are just a couple of the things I've been happening throughout my expert chart vids that I've been making. And you can even see a couple more of them, but those were just the most obvious blatant ones that I can show you guys clearly that happened. So basically what happened around Christmas time is that a bunch of people got DJ Hero for Christmas and they had problems with it like I did. And so my previous uh, four parts of the DJ Hero controller not working series got a surge in comments because they thought that these vids are going to show you how to fix it and keep your controller working perfectly. Let me just say, um, I didn't make those vids to show you guys a real solution to fix it because I don't even know myself. In fact, I might even need as much help as you guys did. I simply put those up there to say, hey, my controller's not working, so you might have some faulty problems with DJ Hero when you get it. Um, I'm not mad at all or anything like that. Um, I obviously didn't explain it well enough in the four parts. I know I didn't. And so um, I'm kind of flattered that you guys all asked me and stuff like that on what to do. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. I'm not advising anyone to do this. This um, sometimes works for me. It sometimes doesn't. This has just been getting me through life right now. Just um, getting it functional basically. It's not of 100% fixed for good and I'm not advising any of you guys to do this so don't get mad at me if this even screws up your controller even more but this is what I've been doing so <clears throat> uh, definitely keep your controller clean especially these buttons be sure to polish off the turntable every now and then so um, your knob is definitely going to start to wear out. I've been playing this now ever since it got released. And the knob is already starting to feel a lot looser. Like it's really easy to twist it now. But almost like gets so tight when you're whamming that it doesn't even respond anymore. The crossfader feels loose now too. It, doesn't, it still clicks into place like it normally should. But it just feels so much looser like it has. it's been greased up so much. So if your controller is not responding with like the dongle or whatever, so if the light on the dongle isn't um, turning on at all, what you do is you take it out and you do this. You blow into this fucker like a good 5 to 10 times and turn your um, PS3, 360, Wii, whatever it is off and then try to start it up again. Just keep redoing this and... This actually happened to me for the first time uh, last week when I was finishing off making the vids and and um, the light just wasn't going on and I did this and it finally started to go on again. If your light on the dongle is on but it's not syncing with the DJ Hero controller and the lights here are still flashing, you do just the same thing. You take this out and you blow into it a good 5 to 10 times but sometimes when you put it back in it still won't work. Take it out again keep doing the same thing over and over I mean really blow into this fucking thing like I do this probably good five ten times when this thing stops working and then it finally starts to work I think one time I actually did this like over 20 times and then it finally started to work as for the faulty stuff that I showed in the vids I have no idea what I'm gonna do I am probably gonna do warranty replacement and just send it back in for a new one and so again, those weren't um, solutions how to fix this. This is just what I've been doing since I've been getting a lot of comments on what I should do. Oh, one more thing. If your controller is like brand new and you've been using the stock batteries that came with it, get rid of those because um, the batteries I got were actually faulty. They worked for like a good couple hours and then they stopped working and the thing just wasn't registering and it went berserk. So definitely, probably don't use those stock batteries. Just buy some Duracell or something from your local store or wherever. So that's all I have to say on the matter. Now I'm going to talk about um, the project as a whole.
So basically, all I have to say is that I finished the project. I got all 98 songs that are on DJ Hero, which include the five DLC. They're all five stars. And I think I'm probably one of the first, or maybe even the first, to have all songs on YouTube that are five starred. So that's kind of cool. I've checked around and haven't found anybody. The closest person that I found was Mahalo Video Games. That does a lot of game run throughs, but they only have like 88 on YouTube. And also, I'm going to start working on a Jersey Devil run through probably today, so expect um, a run through of that pretty soon. And. I'm going to fix the titles that have errors in it for the DJ Hero Expert charts I put. I know I didn't complete all the titles and stuff or the tags are fucked up. So I'm going to update those in time, but I'm just kind of leaving them for now. Alright, so I hope this vid helped you guys out, and thanks for watching.